Hi, my name is Arvalyn Hill, and I'm the coordinator of family programs at the Everett's Children's Adventure Garden at the New York Botanical Garden. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you on a mushroom hike followed by a spore print activity. For this activity, you just need a few simple materials. You need to go outside to a heavily wooded area, whether that's a park in your neighborhood or a forest. You're gonna need a pencil and you're gonna need um, a notebook. And I prefer going on mushroom hikes after a heavy rainfall. So if it's just rained, this would be a great time to do it in the fall. Before we get started though, I want to ask you to ask either yourself or a friend or family member that you're with, what is a mushroom? You can pause this video and discuss that forever as long as you want. But when you're ready, we're gonna come back together and we're gonna get started on our mushroom hike. All right. Welcome back. So I hope that you had a great discussion about what is a mushroom. To me, a mushroom is a fleshy, spore-bearing, fruiting body of a fungus. And mushrooms are really cool because they're not plants. They actually have their own category in the kingdom. There's uh, the animal kingdom, there's the plant kingdom, and then the fungus kingdom, that's its own category of specimens that are alive. And so mushrooms really are very mysterious in that way. They come in different hundreds of different shapes, different colors, they have different smells. But one thing that's really different between plants and fungus is that plants use the sun to grow. Mushrooms use, they need dark, wet, damp, decaying objects to grow, such as trees. So I was walking and I found this fallen um, stick. And as you can see, it's covered in a type of fungus. Now I don't know what type of fungus it is, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm gonna put it on an app called iNaturalist. And iNaturalist is an app that citizen scientists use, botanical gardens educators use to help identify plants that they see in the wild. So if you're out exploring and you find a mushroom and you don't know what it is, I suggest taking a picture of it and either using a mushroom field guide or something like iNaturalist to help you identify it. But you can even just make observations like I notice, I wonder, it reminds me of, to observe the fungus before you put it back in nature where you found it. Here's another mushroom I just found also growing on a stick. And look how different it was from the other mushroom I found earlier. This one has a rich red color to it and it has a little bit more spores growing around it. I wonder if you ask yourself, what types of things do you think might live around these mushrooms and sticks that are on the ground? What types of other living things might we find growing here or living here too? All right, so now we're going to take what we learned and apply it to make some mushroom art. So for this next part of the activity, you're going to need to get some mushrooms from the grocery store. They can be oyster mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, button mushrooms. They just need to have gills on them. And then you're gonna need some paper and a cup. Uh, when you have your materials, we'll come back together to make our mushroom art. All right, now we're gonna make our spore print um, on a piece of paper to make our mushroom art. And so to make a spore print, you're gonna need mushrooms that have gills on them, which looks like this. And so these are portobello mushrooms, but you can also use um, shiitake mushrooms, you can use button mushrooms to do this, any mushroom that has a gill on it, because that's what contains the spores. And so once you have your mushroom, you're gonna get a piece of paper and you're gonna lie it flat on a flat surface. And then you're gonna take your mushroom and you're gonna place it on top of the paper face down. And you can do a, a different design if you want. You can arrange the mushrooms any type of way that you want to. I'm gonna do mine like this. And so now we're gonna leave our mushrooms on the piece of paper overnight. Uh, and then tomorrow, we're gonna see what design that we have come out out of our spore print, because this is allows the spores to drop. 
and you can also cover your mushrooms with a cloth or uh, a bowl if you would like but it's also okay just to leave it like this it's officially been 24 hours i let these uh, sit out on my desk overnight and now we're going to see how the spore print comes out so you're just going to remove each of the mushrooms from the paper. And there you go, you have your spore print. I can bring it up closer. And depending on the type of mushroom that you use, the spore print might be fainter or darker. Mine came out a little faint, but I'm still really happy with the results. Don't forget to date your spore print and also write down um, the type of mushroom if you know um, as well too. So I'm gonna write portobello mushroom and the date. Awesome, thank you for watching.